Good morning guys, this here is Mike, Absorb Self Reliance. Today, I'm gonna to actually be making an earth oven. Um, been reading up on this here, went to a few places and looked on it. They don't see a whole lot of doing it with um, this type of material that we're gonna to use today. I've done it out in the woods, you know, a little small one. Um, it baked bread, it heated up, it done well. It actually made a, a actually a very good little heater for the little area that I was in. But that's been years ago. Um, I don't really have the time to go over there to try to dig out some clay. Plus, you can get in a lot of trouble by digging up clay that's not your clay. So, don't want to really go out and take any of those chances. So, what I'm going to try to do today is, is actually take some kitty litter. And it's a, I forgot the name of the benzonite. I'll try to post a little description of what what it's called or something or other. But, it's actually a, it's just it's a form of clay and I've seen several videos where other people have done this so I'm gonna attempt to do it with this here so stick around we'll get you a list of ingredients that I'll be using or that I'm planning on using for it and then I'm gonna try it out and see how well it turns out so stick around and we'll see where we're at well, here's the kitty litter in itself um, there's a trick from what I've been reading about it in this form, this is of no importance. So let's pour it out real quick. We just want to mix this up and get this water down in there because you want it to turn into a clay or back to its original form of clay. And more water. You just keep putting that water up in there until you get that mixture that you're looking for because it's going to keep absorbing it and soaking it up. Alright guys, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is an easy task. Seems like the more you just move it, the harder it gets to move it the next pass. Right. soaking up that water it's nowhere near where it's going to need to be at um, but as you can see it's already turning into our back to the old clayish type stuff but the more water it gets absorbed in there I'm assuming it's going to turn into a better more workable clay and I still have to work this in and you'll get to see my old ugly feet because I'm going to try it different so stick around. All right guys, here's the table that I came up with. Um, it's not finished yet, but it's just your basic structure. It's a rectangle, it's 32 by 30, or 32 by 24. 24 in width, 32. This is not gonna be a large oven by no means. I just wanted about the same amount as my brick was. Thickness. And this will help distribute any of the heat I'm thinking on with it. So let's get it up here and I'm going to come around the edges right here with another board. So, okay, what I've done is I just went ahead and I built the box. Then I put the plywood or the OSB board and then I've got the fire bricks. I'm gonna... Alright, 
that's one part clay and two parts sand. It's just time to get in there and start working it with our feet. A lot of this right here, whenever you're moving it around, you're going to move that, pull it up. That helps you bunch it back up. You just continue to work it over and over and over in this fashion. It takes about 20, 25 minutes to work up a batch. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting these on. I take them over to my pool and I wet them. Um, I'm using a nail gun. I'm just basically building me a box. work it a little bit it will pop then pop about four and you can see I'm just stripping around here just putting them in trying to fill it in to where whenever I get ready to put on What I'm doing is just going around here, cutting these strips and placing them over it. I need it to keep the clay from falling on to the inside of it. I've cut about 40 of these strips. I used duck cloth. I had some extra that had gotten stained. I wasn't going to be able to use it for much. So I just went ahead and used this piece right here. All right. It's just time to start packing. Here's what I came up with. It's a good packing plate. Okay, now we're going for the second level. This is the more structured part of it that actually is going to do more of the binding and holding together. By that, we're going to make what is called cob. Um, from what I've read is it's basically one part sand, one part um, clay, and one part of straw. In this case here, I'm going to be using a wheat straw. Um, hay would work. I've seen people use shavings on some of this. Um, I've seen them use other things as well, but basically it's just the same concept. Mix the clay up, get it going good, put a little cob in, put a little sand in, mix it up, put a little cob, a little sand, a little more clay, just keep going until you get enough to cover the igloo. All right, let's get a little mixing action going on over here.
right guys what we have right here is cob that's being put over the outside um there's some cracks in the interior part of it from that first level um not concerned with it because it was just really the part to kind of give it more of a, a fixture to where this could come come over and finish it out so i'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the other side of it mix up a little more cob and have this thing set up and hopefully by the time i get back from this little camping trip this weekend this thing here will be ready to go ahead and fire up and let's bake some bread this here i mean that's the consistency that you want pretty much with the clay make sure that you know i mean it makes a ball it's not gonna fall but it's still easily squishable but All I'm doing is just filling this up with wood so she can catch on fire. And she'll burn that interior stuff out. Hopefully, that's the plan. Well guys, gals, hey everybody, this is Mike again. So far, she's a beauty. She's been smoking, she's been cleaning up. I went back over the top of it, put some more coatings on it. Um, one thing I've learned about this clay kitty litter is it does seem to really crack more, but I've only seen three spots the heat is escaping and how I know that is is the smoke um, there's three small spots I'm gonna piece those off and I'm gonna show them to you real quick this right here and see how easy it filled in and then we're just gonna walk around that and check it out but I've done put a small thin coat over this. So it's time to build us up up top over it. This is all we're going to do to it. She's going to make better. Right, She's going guys, to right here in your backyard. You have an earth oven. Wasn't hard to make. Um, took a lot of time. Well, of drying time. It didn't take but about, there's a total of about three and a half hours worth of labor in this. Um, will it bake bread as well as some of the ones that the ancients used? No. Will it do good for what you want to do? Yes, I mean, it's it's sitting here. I can feel the heat rolling out of this, and if I was to close this off, I'd say this thing here would probably pop up to about 550 easy degrees. So, with that being said, I appreciate each one of you watching. 